Hello, I'm Kathy Evers, the First Lady of Wisconsin, and we, in partnership with the Wisconsin Historical Society, are here to share with you some of the incredible history of women's voting rights. Women have been fighting for the right to vote in the United States since the founding of our country. In 1919, an amendment was proposed that would give them this right. The 19th Amendment would give women the opportunity to vote nationally. This would mean that women could participate directly in politics and support the causes that were important to them. This was a very controversial issue. It took five votes to get the amendment passed through the House of Representatives and through the Senate. Despite being passed through Congress, the amendment would not be official until it was also ratified by 36 states. On June 10, 1919, David and Ada James traveled to Madison to witness the signing of the 19th Amendment in our state. David James was a former Wisconsin Senator, and his daughter Ada James was a leader in the suffrage movement. Suffrage supporters like David and Ada James were hoping that the legislators in Wisconsin would debate quickly on this issue and pass the amendment in order to make Wisconsin the first to ratify, but they were not the only ones with this idea. While the Wisconsin legislators were still debating, word came from Illinois that they had already signed the ratification documents. But Wisconsin was not ready to give up yet. In order to complete the ratification process, the papers would have to be delivered to Washington, D.C. to the Secretary of State's office. If Wisconsin wanted to be first to ratify, they would have to beat Illinois to this capital. David James was chosen as the courier for the 19th Amendment. James was not prepared for the journey. He had only come to Madison to witness the signing of the documents, but he knew how important this was to Wisconsin suffragists, so he accepted the appointment. He traveled to Washington, D.C. with only his daughter's handbag as luggage and some money given to him by the Wisconsin Secretary of State. His train arrived on June 13, 1919, and he rushed to the Secretary of State's office to get the papers filed. There he received the official letter stating that Wisconsin was the first to ratify, which we have on display in our exhibit. As James was leaving the office of the Secretary of State, he saw the delegate from Illinois rushing in to deliver their papers. David James later wrote, I received a signed statement that Wisconsin was the first, just in time for the entrance of the messenger from Illinois. He walked up and slapped his paper down on the table. I brought papers to show Illinois was first, he said, and was interrupted by our peals of laughter. Wisconsin was the first to complete the ratification process of the 19th Amendment, followed shortly after by Illinois and Michigan. It would take over a year for the 36 states necessary to ratify the 19th Amendment, but on August 26, 1919, the amendment was approved and women were able to vote nationally. That makes this year, 2020, the 100th anniversary of women's voting rights in the United States. Join us in celebration on August 26th at noon. Ring a bell wherever you may be in celebration of this important step in voting rights. You can also wear white in peaceful celebrations as suffragists did 100 years ago. Show us how you are celebrating by using hashtag Women's Vote 100 and hashtag WI Votes for Women. Let's keep moving forward, Wisconsin.